Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Linus, and today we're diving deep into the world of OSINT, open source intelligence. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, OSINT is like having a superpower for cybersecurity enthusiasts and, let's face it, ethical hackers. It's all about finding and piecing together information that's publicly available on the internet. And trust me, there's a lot more out there than you might think. In this video, we're going to explore the top 10 OSINT tools that can turn you into a pro, all within the Kali Linux environment. We'll cover everything from finding someone's email address to uncovering hidden connections between websites. So buckle up and get ready to level up your OSINT game. All right, let's kick things off with a bang. Maltego is like the Swiss Army knife of OSINT tools. It's a powerful data mining tool that helps you uncover hidden connections between people, companies, websites, you name it. It's like having a detective's magnifying glass, but on steroids. So how does it work? Well, Maltego uses these things called transforms. Think of them as little plugins that reach out to different data sources on the internet and pull back information. You can then connect the dots between these pieces of information to see the bigger picture. Now, Maltego is super versatile. You can use it for everything from penetration testing to fraud investigations. Let's say you're trying to find out who owns a particular website. You can pop the domain name into Maltego, run some transforms, and boom. You might just uncover the owner's name, email address, and even their social media profiles. But Maltego doesn't stop there. It can also map out networks, trace relationships between individuals, and even track down physical locations. It's like having a spider web of information at your fingertips. One of the things I love about Maltego is its user-friendly interface. Don't let all the lines and nodes scare you off. It's actually quite intuitive to use. And the best part, you can customize Maltego to your heart's content with custom transforms and visualizations. So if you're serious about OSINT, Maltego is an absolute must-have in your toolkit. It's a powerful tool that can help you uncover information that would otherwise remain hidden in the vast ocean of the internet. Let's move on to another fantastic OSINT tool, the Harvester. This one's all about finding email addresses and trust me, it's a master of its craft. Imagine you're a penetration tester and you need to find all the email addresses associated with a particular company. That's where the Harvester comes in handy. You feed it a domain name and it scours the internet, digging through search engines, public databases, and even social media platforms to find any email address that's even remotely connected to that domain. But the Harvester doesn't stop at email addresses. It can also uncover subdomains, host names, and even open ports. It's like having a digital bloodhound sniffing out every digital trace of your target. And the best part is, the Harvester is incredibly easy to use. It's a command line tool, but don't let that scare you off. The syntax is super straightforward, and there are tons of tutorials available online. Now you might be thinking, why do I need to find email addresses? What's so special about them? Well, for starters, email addresses can be valuable for social engineering attacks. They can also be used to identify potential targets for phishing campaigns. But it's not just about the malicious stuff. Security analysts can use the Harvester to identify potential security risks within their organization. For example, if the Harvester finds a bunch of employee email addresses on a shady website, that could be a sign of a data breach. So, whether you're an ethical hacker, a security analyst, or just someone who likes to tinker around, the Harvester is a must-have tool in your OSINT arsenal. Hold on to your hats, folks, because things are about to get really interesting. Let me introduce you to Shodan, the search engine that could give Google a run for its money, at least in the world of cybersecurity. You see, Shodan doesn't index websites like Google does, it indexes devices. Yes, you heard that right. Shodan scans the entire internet, looking for devices that are connected to the internet from webcams and routers to industrial control systems and traffic lights. Now, why is this important? Well, many of these devices are poorly secured, which makes them vulnerable to cyber attacks. With Shodan, you can find these vulnerable devices and see what kind of information they're exposing to the world. For example, let's say you're a security researcher and you want to see how many webcams in a particular city are publicly accessible. You can use Shodan to search for webcams in that city and it will show you a list of all the webcams that are connected to the internet 
along with their IP addresses, geolocation, and even the type of software they're running. But it's not just about finding vulnerable devices. Shodan can also be used for competitive intelligence. For example, let's say you're a business owner and you want to see what kind of technology your competitors are using. You can use Shodan to search for devices that are associated with your competitor's domain name, and it will show you a list of all the devices that are connected to their network, along with their operating systems, software versions, and even their physical locations. Now, with great power comes great responsibility. It's important to use Shodan ethically and responsibly. Never use Shodan to access devices that you don't have permission to access, and always respect the privacy of others. Feeling overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information out there? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Introducing Spiderfoot, the automation king of OSINT gathering. Think of Spiderfoot as your tireless digital detective working around the clock to gather intel. You give it a starting point, like a domain name, an email address, or even a Bitcoin address, and it takes it from there, automatically querying over 100 public data sources to build a comprehensive profile of your target. What's really cool about Spiderfoot is that it presents the information it finds in a visually appealing and easy to understand format. You get graphs, charts, and timelines, making it a breeze to spot connections and patterns that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. And if you're someone who likes to customize their workflow, you're in luck. Spiderfoot is highly configurable. You can choose which modules to run, set up custom alerts, and even integrate it with other tools. So whether you're a security analyst investigating a potential threat, a journalist tracking down a lead, or a researcher digging into a company's background, Spiderfoot can save you a ton of time and effort by automating the OSINT gathering process. It's like having an army of digital interns working tirelessly to gather information for you. All right, folks, it's time to talk about Recon Ang. And let me tell you, this tool is a beast when it comes to web reconnaissance. What sets Reconang apart is its modular design. It's built on a framework that allows you to add or remove modules as needed, making it incredibly versatile and customizable. Need to do some DNS enumeration? There's a module for that. Want to scan for open ports? Yep, there's a module for that too. Think of Reconang as a toolbox filled with specialized tools for every reconnaissance task imaginable. You can mix and match these tools, chain them together, and even write your own custom modules to achieve your specific goals. And the best part is, Recon Ang is surprisingly user-friendly, even if you're not a command line guru. It has a simple and intuitive interface that guides you through the process of selecting modules, setting options, and launching your reconnaissance missions. So, whether you're a penetration tester gathering information before a security assessment, a security researcher mapping out an organization's attack surface, or just a curious individual who wants to know more about a particular website or company, Recon Ang is an indispensable tool in your OSINT arsenal. Time to bring some order to the chaos of network data. Introducing Census the tool that scans your network and organizes the data in a way that makes it easy to find what you're looking for. Imagine you're a network administrator responsible for managing a large network. You need to keep track of all the devices on your network, their operating systems, their software versions, and a whole lot more. Census makes this task a breeze. It scans your network, identifies all the devices connected to it, and then gathers information about each device, such as its IP address, MAC address, host name, operating system, open ports, and even the services running on each port. But Census doesn't just collect data, it organizes it in a way that makes it easy to search and filter. You can search for devices by IP address, host name, operating system, or any other criteria. You can also create custom reports and export the data in various formats, making it easy to share with your team or integrate with other tools. So whether you're a network administrator who needs to keep track of your network assets, a security analyst investigating a potential security incident, or just someone who likes to have a clear picture of their network, Census is a valuable tool that can save you time and headaches. Ever wondered what secrets hide beneath the surface of a document? Let me introduce you to FOCA, which stands for Fingerprinting Organizations with Collected Archives, the Metadata Maestro. 
FOCA's specialty is extracting metadata, those hidden gems of information embedded within documents. Think author names, software versions used to create the document, hidden comments, and even the operating system of the computer it was created on. Now, why is this valuable? Well, metadata can reveal a treasure trove of information about the origin of a document and the people who created it. For example, imagine you're investigating a phishing campaign. FOCA can help you trace the phishing emails back to their source by analyzing the metadata embedded within the attached documents. But it's not just about security investigations. FOCA can also be used for competitive intelligence, investigative journalism, and even historical research. It's like having a digital magnifying glass, allowing you to uncover hidden details and connections that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. So whether you're a security professional, a researcher, or just someone who likes to dig deeper, FOCA is a valuable addition to your OSINT toolkit. It's a powerful tool that can help you uncover the hidden stories behind the documents you encounter every day. Hold on to your hats, information seekers, because we're about to dive into the world of publicly available documents with Metagoofle. This nifty tool specializes in extracting juicy details from documents like PDFs, spreadsheets, presentations, and more. It scours the web for these documents, often finding them in unexpected places, and then extracts valuable information like usernames, server names, software versions, and even hidden comments. Now you might be wondering, why would I care about this information? Well, let me tell you, it's a gold mine for researchers, investigators, and anyone looking to gain insights into an organization or individual. For example, imagine you're a security researcher looking for vulnerabilities in a particular company's systems. Metagoofle can help you uncover internal server names, software versions, and even employee usernames, providing valuable clues for your research. Or perhaps you're a journalist investigating a company's activities. Metagoofle can help you find internal documents, presentations, and spreadsheets that might contain sensitive information or shed light on the company's inner workings. Metagoofle is incredibly simple to use, making it accessible to even the most novice OSINT enthusiast. You simply point it at a target domain and it does the rest, automatically crawling the web, downloading documents, and extracting valuable information. So, whether you're a seasoned OSINT professional or just starting out, Metagoofil is a must-have tool in your arsenal. It's a powerful and efficient way to uncover hidden treasures of information buried within publicly available documents. Feeling a little lost in the vast world of OSINT? Don't worry, we've all been there. That's where the OSINT framework comes in, your one-stop shop for all things OSINT. It's not a tool in the traditional sense, it's more like a treasure map guiding you to a wealth of resources, tools, and techniques. Think of the OSINT framework as a giant, well-organized toolbox. It categorizes tools and resources based on their functionality, making it easy to find what you need, whether you're looking for tools to gather information on individuals, companies, websites, or even specific topics like cryptocurrency or social media. But it's not just a list of tools. The OSINT framework provides context and guidance. It explains how each tool works, its strengths and weaknesses, and even provides real-world examples of how it's been used. Whether you're a seasoned OSINT practitioner looking for new tools and techniques, or a newcomer just starting your journey, the OSINT framework is an invaluable resource. It's like having a mentor by your side, guiding you through the exciting and ever-evolving world of OSINT. You might be thinking, Google, really? I use that every day. But trust me, there's a whole other side to Google that most people don't know about. I'm talking about Google Dorks, a set of advanced search techniques that can unlock a treasure trove of information hidden in plain sight. We're not talking about your average search queries here. Google Dorks use special keywords and operators to refine your searches, allowing you to find specific file types, websites containing specific keywords, and even vulnerable systems. For example, let's say you want to find all the PDF documents on a particular website that contain the keyword confidential. With Google Dorks, you can construct a search query that will do just that. But it's not just about finding documents. Google Dorks can also be used to uncover sensitive information such as login pages, exposed databases, and even vulnerable webcams. Now, with great power comes great responsibility. It's crucial to use Google Dorks ethically and responsibly. Never use them to access information that you don't have permission to access. 
and always respect the privacy of others. So, whether you're a security researcher, an investigative journalist, or just a curious individual, mastering Google dorks can significantly enhance your OSINT skills. It's like having a secret decoder ring, allowing you to unlock the hidden treasures of information buried within the vast expanse of the internet. And there you have it, folks. We've explored the top 10 OSINT tools that can turn you into a pro, all within the powerful Kali Linux environment. From Maltego's data mining prowess to Shodan's internet-wide device scanning, these tools offer a glimpse into the vast world of open source intelligence. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use these tools ethically and legally. OSINT is about gathering information responsibly to enhance security, aid investigations, and gain valuable insights. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of OSINT, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay tuned for more cybersecurity adventures. Until next time, stay curious, stay ethical, and keep exploring the fascinating world of OSINT.